What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're the full Crustacean Pokemon team. There are a lot of Pokemon Crustaceans out there, so I thought I'd cover a team on that. Is a little simple description of what Crustaceans are. So stuff like crabs, lobsters, shrimps, all that sort of stuff there. Now, people, I have moved my streams fully back to YouTube now. If you do want to become a member, you can get emotes badges, early access to my videos and stuff like that, a whole bunch of stuff, check it out, the link's in the description of the video, lots of people have become members already, so I hope you do, and if you are a Twitch sub, you can easily move over there, all the entry level pricing and stuff is the same. Alright, first battle here, this is against Jade, we got two battles today with the Crustacean team, and the first Pokemon is gonna be a Lopunny, so I've got Golospot, I had to include it on this team, and this is a pretty cool set, so we've got a speedy Golospod, Max Speed Jolly Nature with Max Attack and Max Speed here. Mudshot, Pin Missile, Dual Chop and Rock Slide. King's Rock as the item. And this is all based around actually making the opponent flinch. Now, unfortunately, the Lopunny is going to trick me straight away off the bat there. And it's going to be giving me a Toxic Orb. So my strategy is, uh, it's pretty much out the window here. So what I want to do with this strategy, regardless of whether I got tricked the Toxic Orb, I wanted to go for a Mud Shot to slow the opponent down. Because Golospot isn't very fast, even with max speed. Then you can simply go for a Pin Missile, which is pretty powerful, and hope for a flinch. So my only way to get a flinch here is to go for a Rock Slide and... And the Lopunny is going to have Cosmic Power. So I was like, oh, that's a bit of a pain. I mean, Rockside did pretty good damage still, so I wasn't actually too concerned. Uh, with this Toxic Orb, it's probably going to put me into my emergency exit range and eject me from the battle soon enough. So Dual Top's got two chances of hitting, which is nice, and so it's Pin Missile. I mean, Pin Missile is there as my main move to actually use. So go for a Pin Missile on the, uh, on the Bunnery, yep. The Bunnery, the Lop Bunny, they're all rabbits and stuff like that. I've actually done a Bunny and Rabbits team too on that topic. And you know, that was a pretty good amount of damage there, getting four hits. Now, Lop Bunny is going to go for a Swift. I'm like, what is this set? Switcheroo, Swift, and Cosmic Power. What is this even going to be? I was thinking after I seen Cosmic Power, it might have Baton Pass. And then it used Baton Pass. I think, oh, okay, that makes sense. So passing off the uh, Cosmic Powers. I don't know what Swift was there for. Uh, maybe it was a Swift set. Next Pokemon to come in, it's going to be a Lopunny. So it is a full Lopunny team. I know someone watching this video is going to love this. Now, people, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you do leave a like on the video. And do you like these uh, sort of animal-based videos? A lot of people seem to like these. So so we could keep this uh, running for a little while. Maybe come up with some cool ideas for animal teams you'd like to see. Leave it below in the comment section too. So we're going to bring in Clawwitz here. Clawwitz is like a lobster and uh, what is that? Golospot. It's like an isopod. I think that's I think that's what it's under. we got a special Lopunny here and that's going to hit me pretty hard. So Clawwitz gets Crab Hammer. I had to give it to it because, you know, Crab Hammer being on this scene, you know, crustaceans and things like that. And this is actually a physical set. Now it is based around using a Dynamax. That's why it's got Aura Sphere on there. If you're wondering, like Aura Sphere is for Max Knuckles. It's the only way for it to have a fighting move. And I gave it Bounce there for Max Airstream and Gig Impact as well, just for a bit of coverage. It's not the greatest in attack, but it is pretty fun to use. Now, the item I've got there is Scope Lens. That's going to stack nicely with Crab Hammer. And of course, we've got Mega Launcher as the ability. So, Clawwitz is just going to get melted by that Lob Punny. I'm like, man. So, next Pokemon to bring in is going to be Golospot. Now, I've already taken some damage here, and I thought, well, I might be able to get off one pin missile. So, so uh, we've got a facade here. It doesn't even have an item, so it's not going to get double base power. So I was thinking they might have something like, I don't know, Flame Orb or Toxic Orb. But one of the early ones already had Toxic Orb. So I'm not sure what their strategy was there to power up facade. Uh, I get a lot of good hits there from Pin Missile. Almost taking out. I needed five hits to actually do that. So I'm going to take some more Toxic Damage here. Lopunny is going to be able to go for facade and take out my uh, Gola Spot here. I mean, Wimpod could have worked on this team too. The, the fact of the matter is there was so many crustaceans. There's that many Pokemon. So you could almost... I reckon you can make like four, five, maybe six teams out of this. Next Pokemon is going to be a Moldo. We got a really, really tanky set here. So we got a close combat coming from Lopunny. I'm going to eat that like a snack. So the EV spread, uh, let me give it to you right here. So we got max health and max defense. This thing is really, really bulky. And I've got the moveset, Ancient Power, Flash Cannon, Struggle Bug, and Brine. I've got the item as a Salt Bear. So this thing is tanky as heck. Uh, I've got the, the Battle Armor as well, so I wouldn't get critical hit. So 
it was very, very hard to actually even get around this armor. It took like a lot of power for it. So the next Pokemon's going to be Lopunny, and it's going to be paralyzing my armor, which is a little bit of a pain. But that's all right there. If I can get a couple of ancient power boosts up here, like this thing gets like insane bulk already. It's already got some nice high base defense as it is there. A shiny armor looks like it's been out in the sun for a little bit so long. So I'm going to get paralyzed here, and Lopunny is going to go for a Miracle. It's like, oh, a Miracle Lopunny. Interesting. So Thunder Wave and Miracle. A very interesting combination there. I guess you get to see what the opponent uses first. I, I'm, I'm not sure. There could be some other moves on this set. I wasn't entirely sure. So it's got leftovers as the item too, which is interesting on a Miracle set. And it's almost back to full health there. I got it paralyzed a couple of times. So I thought I'd change things up here and go for Fury Cutter. Um, actually, I changed that around. I was going to put Struggle Bug and then I put Fury Cutter. So I actually made it a mix set there. So in case I got like, let's say, an Ancient Power Boost, well, that's going to boost my attack too. Uh, it's going to go for a Hyper Beam here. So it's got Hyper Beam and Miracoat and uh, and Thunder Wave. Like a, a really interesting Lopunny set. Uh, very, very interesting. I'm going to go for Fury Cut here. Fury Cut is going to get like you know more powerful as I expect to use it. But since I don't have any attack EVs, you know, it's going to take me a while to actually get some damage in. So Mordor's going to get paralyzed again for the 4,000th time. And uh, Lopunny's going to get some more health back. But I'm very confident I'm going to be able to beat this Lopunny because it really can't do a lot of damage yet. Uh, now Lopunny's going to swap out. Obviously, they figured out that you know, I'm not going to be able to touch this uh, uh, this bulky Armada at all. And in comes Sugar. So we're going to go for Ancient Power here. And hopefully, I can get a nice, juicy boost. Now, it's going to go for Reversal. Reversal is based off health. So it's going to do hardly anything to Armada. But wait, watch this. So go for another Ancient Power here. And that's pretty good damage. And then I get the boost. I'm like, yes, this is awesome. Awesome. This arm models are going to become like insanely bulky. Uh, now it's going to go for reverse. So it's going to be more powerful because I did do some more damage. Um, I did get that boost though, so it's probably not going to matter much uh, at all for that uh, move. Here comes another ancient power, and now it's on a low amount of health. So Lopunny is going to eat a berry here, which is the leech berry. So that's actually going to be really good for you know the reversal. So now they're going to go for a duel. I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to put the Lopunny on the lowest amount of health to get the most base power out of reversals. So like. Okay, I wonder how much damage this is going to do. Here it comes. So, Reverse is going to hit me really hard. I lived it. Man, that Ancient Power Boost, that absolute bulk I gave the Armada was the only reason I actually lived that attack. So, that was crazy bulky. So, bye-bye, Lopunny. That's the third Lopunny god. Uh, next is going to be... Uh, oh, this is Pudding. This is from earlier on. Now, it's going to go for an Aura Sphere. It's like, okay, interesting uh, Aura Sphere. So, that's going to end off my Armada. He did a really, really good job there. Tanked a lot of moves. Next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Crawdon. So Crawdon's a uh, crayfish or lobster. Like I, I'm, I'm, Some of these I could be getting wrong too. So if there's any other Pokemon you feel could have been on this team too, which is loads of them, you can also leave them below in the comment section. So I've got a uh, choice spec set with adaptability. It's pretty dang powerful actually. And this was interesting because I thought I'd live an Aura Sphere, but Crawdon is going to get wasted in one shot. But it will be back in the second battle. Uh, next Pokemon I'm going to bring in is going to be uh, Crustle. So, like, Hermit Crabs fall into this uh, in this category as well, like Dwebel and, and Crustle and stuff like that. So, we've got uh, Shell Smash, Meteor Beam, Struggle Bug, and Solar Beam. So, we're going to be running a special Shell Smash set. So, here comes Aura Sphere. It's not going to do nowhere near as much damage to Crustle there. And Crustle's going to be able to get a free uh, boost up there. The EV spread is going to be uh, Tip of Nature and Max Speed and Max Special Tape. This thing doesn't have very good special attack at all. So I'm going to be using uh, Power Herb and Meteor Beam. So I've got the, the boost from the Shell Smash and then the boost from Meteor Beam. So it's going to be pretty powerful. After it uses that move, it's not really that powerful. It has to rely on like a weak Struggle Bug. So, you know, Struggle Bug's like the most powerful bug move. It doesn't even get like Bug Bars or something like that. Um, I've also got Solar Beam on there too. Say if I didn't want to use Meteor Beam and let's say something four times weak to Grass came in. Well, I could use Solar Beam as well. And very, very unsuspecting. So that's going to be the end of the uh, the lot party there got hit by a full-on meteor beam. Ouch. I actually don't mind a uh, uh, shiny uh, crustle there. I, I was saying it sort of looks like lasagna leaving your fridge for like not that I've done this personally myself. I'm just imagining these things, of course. Uh, it looks like lasagna you're leaving your fridge for like two weeks. And then it goes like sort of like, I guess, moldy. So in comes Cinnamon. I, I, these are actually, actually pretty good names. Uh, they might be like named after other things too. Or maybe they're just named after funny Lopani names. And it's going to be going for, you know what? Sugar should have used a track. That would that would have been, that would have worked, you know? Now it's going to be our Dynamax Lopani here. It's in a love ball and it's using a track. So I'm hoping I can get around some of this scum. I mean, I don't think struggle. 
Jungle Bug's going to do all that much, especially in Dynamax. But, you know, any damage is better than nothing. And the cool thing about uh, Struggle Bug 2, it 100% drops the special attack set. So if it is a special set, you know, that'll be pretty nice. So I'm going to be outspeeding it due to the Shell Smash. And I get around, I was like, cool. Uh, so Struggle Bug, yeah, it does like hardly any damage as expected. And there goes the Lopani special attack. However, this one is going to be a physical set with uh, the Max Knuckles. So that could come from like a multiple bunch of moves like Drain Punch, Brick Break. I'm, I'm, I don't think it's special. Like that. I mean, it could have come from Focus Blast, but I believe it definitely is a, uh, you know, a physical set. So go for another struggle, but they're getting through the attract, which is really awesome. Um, I wasn't able to take it out, but man, it was very, very close. Here comes a second Max Suckle, and that is going to be the end of Crustle. So I've got one more Pokemon left uh, on this team. Now, this Pokemon I absolutely had to include on this team. I mean, it's the uh, it's it's the OG Crab people. And, of course, in G-Max 2, it's got the G-Max uh, G Santa Claus Crab, and it's very, very nice. So I've got Crab Hammer, Hammer Arm, Dig, and Vice Grip. Now, interestingly enough here, I was, uh, I was looking at this, and I was like, I think they changed the spelling of Vice Grip because before it used to be V-I-C-E. For Vice, now it's V-I-S-E. And I always thought there was V-I-C, so that actually got changed down the line. I can't remember when exactly when, like when it was changed and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, if someone does know, like leave it below in the comments. Just an interesting little Pokemon facts there for you. So I uh, go for the G-Max uh, Kingler right here. And now we've got Lopunny. Uh, it's going to get outsped. And I'm going to go for Max Knuckle. And um, that's going to be enough to take out Cinnamon, which is good. Um, now this uh, this is actually pretty cool because I want I had normal gem and I had normal gem vice grip and vice grip's animation if you haven't seen it before it actually literally is like a crab claw that comes out the back and then grips on I believe I've done it in a video a, a Pokemon sweep before I'm trying to remember which one it actually was but it's pretty funny so next Pokemon is putting it's only got a little bit of health left there I was like you know what I could go for any move I could go for its G Max Foam Burst or Max Strike doesn't matter outspeeds me the T Bolt man they did some damage there and I'm able to go off the Max Strike here and take out Lopunny but if I got paralyzed by Thunderbolt there, that was game. Like that, that was that did heaps of damage. The thing about Kingler is it's not very bulky on the special side, so you gotta watch out for that. The defense is good, yeah, but the special defense is really, really bad. Uh, thank you, Jade, for the battle there. A very, very interesting team there with uh, all six lot punnies. Let's get on to you. Battle number two. This is against uh, Seth, and they brought five Pokemon here. And uh, I'm not sure they might be going for some particular theme team here. If you can guess what it is, let me know in the comment section below. Now, the first Pokemon we have here is going to be Rillaboom. So this, uh, when you look at Rillaboom and look what Pokemon I'm using, it's actually a pretty good matchup for this team. So I thought, oh, well, I can use Mudshot and uh, Pit Missile here. And also it doesn't have grassy, uh, also it might have like, grassy terrain and stuff on the field too. So it's got overgrowth. So it's going to go for drum beating and unfortunately, oh, it's, it's very uh, unfortunate because drum beating is going to drop my speed too. So my Mudshot Pit Missile combination is going to be completely counter. So like, Ah, oh, well, what, what do I do here? Do I just keep this thing in? I don't really want to swap out into another Pokemon, and I'm just going to leave Golos Pod in there. So once again, King's Rock gets removed. It's like, oh, I can, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to get ejected out of the battle there, like a little crustacean, and we're going to bring in Claw Witzer. Now, I did contemplate going for Dynamax here, Dynamax uh, Max Airstream on Bounce, but I was like, well, I'm just going to see how much Bounce actually does. So outspeeding the Rillaboom here, bouncing high into the sky. I really love... Uh, shiny Claw Witzer. That, that has to be like one of the best shiny Pokemon. Looks really, really good. So go for Bounce here, and that's excellent damage on Rillaboom. Like, top quality damage. Uh, Rillaboom, instead of going for Drum Beat, it's going to go for a U-Turn. So it's U-Turn still did pretty good damage there, and that's going to be Rillaboom swapping out. Now, next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Gyarados. Like, oh, Gyarados, this is a good swap in. Like, I... I, I I really can't do a lot to this, but watch this. Something really, really interesting happens here. Now, what I did is I went for bounce. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and get a paralyze on this Gyarados. So going up into there, watch this. It's a Twister Gyarados, and I actually got hit by the Twister in the sky. So that's something you really, really don't get to see very often. And I mean, it must be running some sort of flinching set. Unfortunately, they weren't able to outspeed me there to get their strategy going. I am going to get a Paralyze on the Bounce, which is really, really good. So Twister Gyarados, that, that's that's tough. I did actually run a, a, a Twister Mega Rayquaza once, a similar sort of set, but doing it on a Gyarados, that, that's really, really rough. So now I'm going to get a Bounce again here on Gyarados. I actually got a Paralyze, which is really good there too. So I'm able to get around this. Unfortunately, Gyarados is going to get Paralyzed, so they can't get any more like free Twister damage. 
Uh, so go for another bounce there. I don't think Twister actually gets double damage while you're in the sky. I think it only hits you in the sky. Uh, now Dragon, uh, it's going to go for, Dra oh, I see what they're going to do. So they've got Dragon Dance and Twister. So Dragon Dance to increase their speed and then Twister to flinch the opponent. I, I dare say it's got some other moves along with that too to stop the opponent attacking. So unfortunately Gyarados is going to get, uh, you know, KO'd here. I actually went for uh, the Giga Impact there. It's going to get KO'd by a, a Disrespect Aura Sphere. And that's pretty much it for this matchup. And that, that, that's normally run in Dynamax, but a lot of the time I'd like to do the G-Max Kingler on this team, especially uh, it being a big old crustacean. Next Pokemon is going to be the Toxtricity. They're low-key swapping it in. Now, I'm going to go for Crab Hammer. I actually got uh, a crit, which is really, really good. There's some excellent damage. And now it's going to go for a Nuzzle. Like, well, I don't know if a Nuzzle is going to fame me here, but it is going to paralyze Kalutza and, and, you know, slow it down. So now the I can see the item this has is going to be the Black Sludge too. So that was actually pretty smart there because I was able to get, instead of just going for Overdrive right away, they actually got two rounds of Black Sludge Recovery, and they knew they were going to outspeed me after that paralyze. So... Uh, very nice there. So it's a, a Nuzzle Overdrive set. This is actually quite scary too because this is super effective against like uh, one, two, three, four of my Pokemon. So we're going to go into our uh, model here. They're going to go for their Nuzzle there, trying to get that Paralyzed on it. Although they're not going to try. They are going to get it. And now I was hoping I could get a Brine. Like, since they've got like less than half or less than health there, I thought Brine might take them out at a double base power, but it just failed to take it out. Sadly, it's a very, very weak move, and I didn't have like Stab or anything like that. So now I can see what sort of set they've got here. They've got a Nuzzle and Swagger set and Overdrive on top of that, which is, you know, pretty scary. So our model is going to be uh, confused here by the Swagger, and I hit myself in confusion. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I've still got a lot of bulk here. I sh like, I only got to land one more Brian to take this thing out, yeah? Uh, so now it's going to go for Overdrive here. Overdrive's obviously going to do a lot more damage there. Since I do have the Assault Vest, once again, I do take that rather well. So I hit myself in confusion for the second time. I'm like, uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to win this matchup. Like, Overdrive may take me out here if it's a crit, or I might just be out to live here. So here comes the Overdrive, and our motto is not going to lose. So that was some really bad luck there, like, hitting myself twice in confusion. So this Toxtricity is still around on the field here, and we're going to bring in Crawdon now. Now, Crawdon got wrecked last time. I've got in this one, I didn't even say this last time, I've got Max Speed, Tip of Nature, and Max Special Attack. Choice Specs Adaptability. It, it's actually fairly strong. It hasn't got bad Special Attack, and this hits pretty hard with the Choice Specs. And a lot of people expect that physical set too. So next Pokemon is going to be Rebombi. I'm like, well, yeah, I have to swap this out. There's no way I'm going to... I'm scared of this. A Fairy-type move, a Bug-type move. I'm locked into Dank Pulse. So swapping Golospod here. Yeah, it's going to go for a Pollen Puff, and yeah, this is going to be the end of my Golospod. This thing's got very, very high speed and very, very high Special Attack too. It's also shiny. It's wearing a little red scarf. I'm going to swap back in Crawdon here. Now, I've got the choice specs, and I'm feeling good about this. I could go for the Sludge Wave. That'll be super effective. Now, uh, Rapidash is going to swap it here. Really great shiny. Now, the, the moment they swapped in Rapidash, I thought, okay, there's going to be two things they're probably going to do here. They're either going to go for a Wild Charge, or they're going to go for a Mega Horn. And here comes the Mega Horn. It is going to connect. But I actually managed to live it on 13 health, man. I don't... And life orb, too. Wow, I didn't expect to live that. Like, that was really, really surprising. So, I'm going to go for a second sludge wave. And that is going to be enough to take out the Rapidash. I thought I would have definitely fainted. It must be running uh, uh, Jolly Nature. Next Pokemon is going to be the Rillaboom we seen earlier on here. Now, I am locked into sludge wave. I do outspeed. And that is going to be the end of the Rillaboom there. Um, with the choice specs, it's hitting pretty hard. Now, the last Pokemon is going to be Rubombi. This Pokemon was fairly good against my team as well. Um, I mean, high special attack and high speed. So I thought, okay, well, you know, this will definitely one-shot it, but I doubt I'm going to leave a Polypuff here. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to get outsped anyway. So it's going to use Dazzling Game. So it's got Dazzling Game and Polypuff. So... They're pretty good moves. I'm not really sure if it's got Quiver Dance yet. Some of them, a lot of them do carry the Quiver Dance. A very, very good move on it. And now they're going to go for Dynamax Rebombi here. So I thought to myself, well, I can go for Shell Smash here. And then I can go for a Meteor Beam. And that should be enough to take this out, you know. If for some reason, I, I don't outspeed. It is a very fast Pokemon, but I'm running a, you know, I'm running that Timber Nature on Crustle, so I should be able to outpace this thing. So here we go, Dynamax Rebombi there. Um, it's, 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 it's very, very big. 
Look at that little scarf there. Well, the little scarf is now a big scarf, and it's going to go for a bug type move, which is going to be Pollen Puff. So that's a uh, a decent chunk of damage ring. Now that's going to actually drop my special attack, which sucks. However, I am going to get a shell smash up there, so I am going to have a plus one in special attack. Now, if I use Meteor Beam, that'll give me another uh, boost as well, which should be enough to take this thing out. It does have actually pretty good special defense uh, when you look at its stat too. So here we go. I should be able to outspeed it. I've got the Meteor Beam all ready to go. This is going to be more powerful than like Dynamax and stuff like that. And they went for the Max Guard. I was like, no, that really, really sucks. So Meteor Beam is going to, obviously, it's going to give me a special attack boost. But now Power Herb is going to be used up and I won't be able to use Meteor Beam in one turn. Now, looking at my move options here, this is why this set really isn't that good once the Meteor Beam's used. I mean, sure, you could Dynamax it. That's another way to get around that. But essentially, once you've used Meteor Beam or Dynamax, it, it's it's kind of bad. So I've got Struggle Bug and I've got Solar Beam. I'm like, well, I'm going to be struggling to do any damage here. So go for Struggle Bug. At least it'll drop its special attack. So that's the only benefit I'm probably going to get from using that move. And, and you know, it's a little bit of damage too. Uh, now, Ribbon B is going to go for a Max Mind Storm. So... That's going to take my Crustle out. So that was coming from, uh, like, Psychic or something like that. And that's the end of my Crustle. I mean, I've got one more Pokemon left, which is my Kingler. And it's yeah, going to be my G-Max. So I know if I land one G-Max Foam Burst against, that will take it out. Its defensive stat is very, very bad. However, Kingler's special defense isn't really all that good. But I don't believe it's got anything to actually you know, uh, super effective. So go for the uh, G-Max Kingle here. I'm going to go for the G-Max Foam Burst. And man, uh, this move is, it's actually kind of interesting how it drops the speed. I just wish the animation for the move was like a little bit better. Uh, so Dynamaxing uh, that big Kingler right there. I think this is like, I'm pretty sure this is like a, um, like, oh, I think it's like a Chinese crab or something like that. I, I forgot what it was called, but um, like a spider crab or something like that. I forgot what they were called, like what class they went for animals, but uh, this thing is pretty cool. So now it's going to go for Quiver Dance. Like, okay, they're going to try and one-shot me here. But I don't think they're going to be living this attack unless they've got something like a Focus Band. So go for the G-Max Foam Burst here on the Ribombi. And that is going to be more than enough to take it out without a Choice Band. And they didn't have anything like that or it didn't activate. And that is the game. Hope you enjoyed the Crustacean Pokemon team. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out, people.